Hi, this is Bradley Bush. This video discusses function evaluation with variables. If you are given a function, say this one right here, one third x minus two, and you are asked to find f of six a minus f of a, what exactly is this? What is f of a? Well, what is f of 1? f of 1 is just the function evaluated at 1. So wherever there was an x, which there was an x right here, you plug in a 1. So we have 1 third times 1 minus 2. Well, uh, what is f of negative 1? Same thing. Wherever there was an x, we plug in a negative 1. So we have 1 third times negative 1 minus 2. Well, what is f of, that <laughs> kind of looks like a little guy. I didn't realize that, that's amazing. What is f of smiley face? Well, that's just one third times smiley face minus two. Whatever you have here goes into all of the variables in the function. So our final one, what is f of ice cream cone? That's not a piece of pizza. It's an ice cream cone. I know you guys are thinking it's a piece of pizza. It's an ice cream cone. We have one third times ice cream cone minus two. So it, honestly, it doesn't matter what goes in there. All we do is just plug that thing into x, wherever x appears in the function. So if we now go back to our original problem, what is f of a? Well, now we just know all we do is just plug in a wherever there was an x. So we have 1 third a times a minus 2. And that's it. So that's piece 1. So what about this second piece? We haven't looked at this. We'll call it piece two. What is f of 6a? Well, if we follow the pattern we've seen so far, then all we're going to do is plug in the 6a wherever there was an x in the function f. And then we just do some simplification. So we have 6a divided by 3 minus 2. And this 6 is really the same thing as 3 times 2. And the 3 can cancel with the 3 in the bottom. So what does that leave us with? 2a minus 2. OK. There's the second piece. Now we can just subtract these two pieces. So the 6a, f of 6a goes there. and f of a goes there. So we can see this was the f of 6a and 
this was the f of a and notice we have also the minus sign so one point that could trip you up is this 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 negative here needs to be distributed through each piece of this second um, term so we get a negative we get a negative one-third a there and a negative times negative two gives us a positive right there and now we're just collecting terms we can see uh, right away that this negative 2 and that positive 2 cancel and we're left with 2a minus 1 third a we can't add these two together until they have the same base of, with fractions the same denominator so let's make the 2 into something with a 3 in the denominator so how about uh, we multiply by 3 over 3 that gives us 6a over 3 minus 1 third a and once we have 6a over 3 minus 1 third a we have the same denominator so we can just take the tops and subtract them. So we have 6a minus a. If you have 6a and you take a away, you're left with our answer, which is 5a over 3. And if you want to put the a out in front, that's perfectly fine too. You could have 5 thirds times a. That's it. Thanks for watching.